Henry, welcome to this special interview on HotSportsTV.com. You're welcome. First, let me start by saying congratulations for qualifying for the Nations Cup. Thank you very much. How does this make you feel? Oh, it's an amazing feeling. You know, like for me, being missing out from the last World Cup due to injury, um, Nations Cup is something uh, I can't wait to be uh, in. Um, for now, I just want to keep working hard and um, trying to play my way in the team, you know, to keep doing what I do best and try to score more goals from the country. How do you see Nigeria's chances going to Egypt? Um, we stand the better chance to take the Nations Cup. I mean, no pressure and no... Um, I respect all teams. I'm just saying to our team, we have um, a great team, young team as well, um, young talented player and some of the uh, experienced ones and a very good coach with a uh, good administration behind us, so we just have to focus on the game and uh, keep working hard. I think we'll arrive there. What are you telling Nigerian football fans now in terms of your mission and approach to this Nations Cup? Um, just to sit and stay behind us, pray for us, and um, with togetherness we'll get there. And um, that's just it. They should just keep praying and um, wish us the best you know, luck and support us good or bad times. That's just it. You scored that crucial first goal against Seychelles after waiting for so long for the opening goal to come. Would you say you were under pressure before you scored that goal? Um, I wouldn't say I was under pressure. No one is under pressure. You know, it's just um, it's a game. Even when we, we knew we were qualified already, but we just want to keep it 100%, respect all teams, and uh, most important, to come out with the victory, which we did the best. And uh, I was so happy to score a goal, you know, my first official goal for the country. Um, at the moment, everybody's happy. Everything is going fine. Um, I just hope and I pray everything goes the same way like we did in the qualifier. Now back to club football. It's been a very blossoming career for you at club level in Europe. Uh, it wasn't easy, you know. As a young player who came from the academy, arriving in Belgium, um, the journey is not that easy. Uh, but with the help of my the coaches I work with and some of the players, they push me, you know, advice, and uh, I, I learn every day. I try to learn from my mistake, and uh, most especially. Um, ask questions and praying to God as well. God, with God, everything is possible. So you just have to work hard. If you work hard without putting God, you're wasting your time. So um, everything made easier when I started listening and working with my teammates as well. How is the experience like with Turkish giants Galatasaray? So far, it has been good. You know, we didn't do good in Champions League and Europa. Cup, but um, in the league we have a better chance to take it and we're still on the race so um, at the moment everything is going just fine. Do you look forward to the English Premier League since you're on loan from Everton? Yeah of course that's, that's, that's been my goal and uh, dream to play in Premier League but at the moment I, I couldn't play because of the working permit so I just had to um, go on loan to Galantas right again and get more exposure Champions League and some Europa games. What do you hope to achieve in your career? Uh, I just want to win trophies, both for my club and my country, and trying to be one of the greatest. You know, and I want to stand in the, in the place and see myself after football, and the, my name will be remembered for good and greatness. Now back to the grassroots. Can you take us back to your growing up days in football? Yeah, of course. It's something I, I can never forget. You know, I, I still remember when I um, used to trek with my friends in Sulary down to a pitch fast uh, for five or one hour you know because of the passion of the game you know and looking from now looking backwards it's something i just have to thank god every day you know i give thanks to god every day and uh, i hope and i pray for more grace henry thank you so much for this special interview with allsportstv.com you're welcome